Hey folks, and welcome back. Uh, thanks so much for the response so far on my various MetaHuman Animator videos. I'm glad they've been helpful. And I just want to take a moment to tackle a few of the things that people have been mentioning and maybe just mention a few other things along the way. So first of all, uh, this is apropos of nothing, but I just want to make sure everyone knows that if you would like to actually see a MetaHuman in here while you're scrubbing through and you want to be someone who looks a little bit more like, you know, the character that you're actually going to be using, uh, you can go ahead, oh look, the eyes are kind of off there, and go into that override visualization mesh option, and you can pick a mesh of an actual metahuman you're using, but just be aware that whatever you pick in here, you are now bound in this take to use um, that particular metahuman skin, even if you go and change others. So if you have a, a multi multicultural set of metahumans, just note that if you start to bring in some other ones, they're actually just going to keep using the, uh, the mesh that is on the first one. So just want you to bear that in mind because uh, it is really handy to actually see this moving on other characters. But um, yes, the skin is a little bit off. Now, uh, head rotation. This is something that I've seen a few people struggling with. Um, I was as well. You'll notice that here under, not tweakers, down here under switches, there's actually a setting down here that you can't read in the moment, but this is actually for uh, allowing the head rotation to be active. Now, by default, uh, the head movement is on the transform track, which is fine if you are literally just going to have a head. If you are going to try to tie this to a metahuman body, you actually are going to want that to be over in control rig. And you'll see right there, it says enables the head control switch in the control rig to use control rig for the head movement. Now, I am not an expert in control rig, but I have not been able to get this to work um, in the way I would have expected. And I'll show you briefly that if I go to export animation now, and I leave this as head rotation and I just make sure that I'm using, um, you know, one of the skeletons that is in the metahumans folder, common face, not one that is an identity template, which seems to confine this to only be used for um, my, you know, identity metahuman and doesn't seem to translate to the other metahumans. You would think that this would be working. But if I go ahead and I say create and I open this up, you'll notice that the head isn't moving at all, even though if I scroll all the way down here, you'll actually see that we've got some nice beep boop 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 data on head translation X, Y, and Z. And there's that head control switch. So, you know, this is set to one. And you would think that if you change this value to zero, that, you know, because one doesn't seem to be working, that zero would start to activate here. But I'll just, again, show you briefly uh, that if I go through here and I delete all the keyframes, and then I go ahead and first just scrub, make sure nothing's changed. And then I go ahead and I add a new keyframe and this keyframe is just going to be set to zero. You would think that would have some kind of effect, but it doesn't. So anyways, just want to point out that I would think that that toggle between zero and one for that head control switch would allow um, that data to be active. Uh, and actually, in fact, yeah, we've got three different versions of, well, I'm sorry, this is X, Y, Z. This is uh, the rotation. But yes, you would think that something here would um, allow these to start to get used and that isn't happening here. But fear not, I do have a way that this has worked for me. I, I don't I would not make a video just to show you that something is uh, not working. And do notice here, by the way, too, that in the preview, we're not seeing um, the head rotation here either. Whereas if I go back to transform, we are actually seeing it all there. So yeah, anyway, let's let's see how to actually get this working. <laughs> I could just do 30 minutes of like, here's all the things that don't work. Uh, so I'm going to go and export my level sequence, OK? And we know that this is going to give us a few different pieces of the puzzle here. And we're basically going to grab what we need. So uh, video track, fine. Don't worry about the depth track, audio, image playing. Sure, all this stuff is fine. Uh, and notice we've got our control rig track and our control rig head movement. So these two are going to be important. And I'm going to go ahead and ignore the identity transform track, which would be for the rotation there. That's not going to be useful to us. So we're going to go ahead and leave that unchecked. And I will go ahead and say create. Go ahead and open that up now and see what it looks like out of the box. So here's our sequence. And we'll see that if we go ahead and uh, snap to the actual camera view right here, we'll see that the head is actually rotating and moving the way we like. Fantastic. And essentially, it seems to be the same as what we had in our standalone animation. But for some reason, it's working over here. So we'll see that under MHA head IK control, we've got our location and our rotation and our scale all active here. And in fact, we also have our IK switch control at the bottom. And if I 
just go ahead and set that to zero, we see that that immediately makes our head uh, not do anything anymore. And if I go ahead and change it back to one, then we're back to all the head movement rotating there. And we can also see this all the way down here in our animation outliner as well. OK, so we've got that. We've got some rotation working. Now we want to try to attach this to a full body. So the easiest way that I've done this so far is I've kind of treated this as a bit of a, a template. And then what I'll go ahead and do is I'll drag in a uh, another metahuman. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll find any metahuman in my metahuman folder. And I'll drag Rosemary here directly into my sequencer. And she'll probably be rotated um, 90 degrees, which is fine. <laughs> and we might want to move the camera a little bit to see her better. OK, and so we basically want to get this animation over to her. And the easiest way to do that will actually be to bake what we've got here, our working head rotation animation into something that um, will work here. We could actually copy the entire control rig over, and I guess it's worth demonstrating that really quick. And there we go. So we have that, but notice that she doesn't have any head movement. And I suspect that's because you'll notice that when we copy this control rig information over to her, she's actually missing uh, those other elements at the bottom. They don't show up in her um, animation outliner. So anyways, just want to note that that does not work. Um, but what we can do instead, we'll just clear out the control rigs for Rosemary. We're going to go ahead here and we're just going to bake this, bake the one over here into an animation. So what we're going to do is right click on face and do bake animation sequence. And I'll put this not, it always defaults into uh, my plugins folder. So don't do that over in the engine. Let's go into uh, metahumans and no, not metahumans. And I'll drop this in performances and I will call this um, MHP head rotation test 01 <laughs> anim, just to be like super, super clear. Baked anim even. Okay, great, fantastic. And then I think all these are going to be fine as their defaults. Da, 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 da. And I can do export to animation sequence. OK, and so if I open that up, we'll see that we do, in fact, have head rotation. Fantastic. Um, but because of the fact that when we export as a level sequence, it doesn't actually give us the option to change what the um, the mesh is going to be that we use. Uh, ba, 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 just trying to demonstrate. We can't actually change that. We might have to manually do it now. So. What we're going to do is we'll start by just seeing if we can uh, put this animation on Rosemary. It's the one that we know ends with baked anim. It's not there. So what we actually have to do is retarget it, which fortunately is fairly straightforward. And what we'll do is we'll go under where we saved this under sequences or performances. It's the one that ends with baked anim. And we're going to right click and we're going to say retarget animation assets, duplicate and retarget. And we are going to go with the metahuman one, RTG metahuman. And what we'll do is we're going to literally just go from the two face archetypes. So we're going to go from the identity template one right there over to the metahuman commons face one, right? Which in this case is showing me um, one of my other characters. And we'll go ahead and say retarget. And this should generate an asset that we can actually use on any metahuman. And what we can do is go under face animation and see if we can find the baked one. There we go. And if we're lucky, it will be visible right here. Sometimes you'll find that it's not visible there and uh, you'll actually need to reopen your sequence or just close and open it again to see exactly where the location is. Now we look here and we can see that the head isn't moving. The mouth all lines up. That's all great, but we're not getting our head rotation. But if we actually open up the animation, we'll see that it does in fact have our head rotation, right? So what's wrong? So this actually is something we're going to want to correct over in the animation blueprint. So we're going to go ahead and find the face in our metahuman, so in Rosemary. And we have animation blueprint face and MVP. So let's go ahead and open that up. And we're going to find in the animation graph, which you can find here on the left, double click, that there's a spot where we want to change how we are blending uh, and I'm not going to go into all the details of how these branch filters work for how the bones do all the things they do for the neck and the facial root. But we basically want to do a different kind of layered blend here. So we're just going to do the fix without walking too much through how it works. So I'm going to save this one as a backup and we're going to do a new layered blend per bone. 
And this one instead is going to work a little bit differently. All we're going to need is what we call a blend mask and the blend mask will be for the head. And we just want to make sure this pops back into everything over here. Um, you would think all the AR kit head rotation stuff would be part of this, but no, that's only for when you're doing things live with the live link face face version. And all we need to do here is instead of branch filter, we have to go to blend mask. Okay. And blend mask, you need to make sure you actually have a blend mask. I do, but I'm going to show you how to make your own very quick and then we'll come back to here. So we're going to go over to the skeleton tab up here in the left. And all we need to do to create a blend mask is click the settings and do blend profiles. And we're going to do add blend mask. So we're going to do a blend mask. We're going to call this head mask. And then you'll see by default, zip, everything goes to zero. Fantastic. And all we need to find is head. Which, yeah, super easy. Look at all these head bones. Find the one that is literally just head and change the head mask to one. So we save that and then we go back into our blueprint, our face out MVP over here. Now we can go where we had blend mask and change this to head mask. <laughs> and then what should happen now is we should see everything um, using that rotation. That's it. Just changing from the branch filter to the blend mask and making sure you have uh, your mask set up with just that head bone. And then we're going to go over to here and try scrubbing and voila, we now have all the head rotation working. Fantastic. OK, next thing we want to do is make sure that the head can stay attached to the body when we start to add in a real animation. And if you don't have any body animations handy, the easiest thing to do to uh, test this is actually going to be to add the third person template into your project. So we'll do add feature or content pack third person add to project. And this will just give us some good stock animations like idle and running and all that that we can confirm are working the way we want them to. Now, we will have to use the retargeter again, because even though the mannequin and the metahuman bones are basically identical, you do still need to create animations that are specific to them. So what we'll do is we'll find our third person uh, character mannequins animations. And we've got two for Manny and Quinn. Um, I guess we'll go with Quinn here. And for all these, we just have idle, run forward, and walk forward. I'm going to grab all three of these and right click. And once again, I'm going to say duplicate and retarget. IK retargeter will once again be metahuman. And we will go from the Quinn skeleton to th this one by default, which actually should be fine. Yeah, so this is actually um, the skeleton of Rosemary. And uh, we could genericize that a little bit more, but this should work with any of our metahumans because they all do share the same skeleton. So I'll go ahead and say retarget. And those will all get duplicated. Uh, they just are living in my content folder. No big deal. So I'll do save all. You'll actually see duplicates of these because I did just try this a little bit earlier to confirm it was working. Didn't want to do anything untested on you. And under body here for Rosemary now, let's try going to animation and putting in, say, run. So any of these. And up oh, here we go. Here's once again this thing where the animation isn't showing up. So that's fine. Glad we can demonstrate this in person. So we just exit out of there and then we'll go back in. And there we go. So I just reopened the sequencer and I can see where that running animation is and I can drag this out for the duration of my sequence. After the war, I went back to New York. After the war, I went back to New York. I finished up my studies and I practiced law. I practiced law, but worked next door. Even though we started at the very same time, Alexander Hamilton <laughs> to climb how to account for. And that's fun, but it's a little hard to tell if the head is still rotating the way we want. So maybe let's change it to uh, an idle animation, which would be fine. Idle one right there, or idle normal. And we're just repeating it over and over and over again. There we go. So we got our, our normal little standing pose. It is an animation. You can see the hands moving. And you can see the head is moving as expected. If you do at any moment during this see the head completely detach, I find that all you need to do once again is close the sequencer and open it back up and you should be OK. If that's not the case for you, uh, feel free to let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to help. Anyways, hope this is useful. Thanks very much, everyone. Have a great day. Cheers. I beyond a shadow of a doubt of my assistant counsel, Cole Counsel Hamilton, sit down. Our client love you. This is innocent. That's all I had to say. Call your first witness, OK?